people have signed up for assessments the length and breadth of Britain. In Darlington, one keen candidate is brushing up on his manoeuvres. Former shopkeeper Jeffrey Gillow recently celebrated his 100th birthday and is now part of an elite group of just 248 centenarians still driving in the UK. What's the secret to lasting old age? I just live from day to day. I don't know what the hell it's all about. I never have done, really. I wake up in the morning and I'm surprised that we're still here. I'm quite happy to be assessed. A little bit nervous in case I do something stupid. It's something different, you know, from the usual day. I've got a purpose, haven't I, really? And uh, most days I haven't got a purpose. I think you went through a red light there. I didn't. It's a change. It was close, I agree. Jeffrey ran a menswear shop until he retired 35 years ago. But he still likes to pop in daily to check on the new MD, 63-year-old son Bill. How are you doing? All right, yeah. We've had some nice new stock in this morning, as you might yeah. like. Oh, yes. Nice shirt, yeah. Mm, have a look. I thought you'd be look good in that, I'm hold. Flamingo thing. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be seen. Stunning. Dead in that. When I opened this shop in 1966, I was catering mainly for farmers and country wear. No young man would have bought a shirt like that in my time. My father's driving's massively important to him. It's a big part of his, his independence. The fact he's got his car means he actually gets out every day. He does his chores, whether it be his shopping or coming in to see me at the shop. He has his little routine and the car is very much part of it. Son Bill might be satisfied with his dad's driving, but someone else isn't. My daughter's not happy with my drive. She hasn't been out with me lately. She won't get in the car and let me drive. I do feel quite disloyal to Dad, saying I don't think he's fit to drive. But it's only because I care about him and I just want him to be safe. Being able to drive really helps to keep me feeling youngish. I feel about 200 when I'm walking. I feel about 40 when I'm driving. If the assessor says I shouldn't be on the road, then I should pack in the drive. But I think he'd be wrong. <laughs> Coming up, Jeffrey. Clear all round, ready to go up. And John hit the road. Nice and slowly, nice and slowly. We won't get a problem up either. I haven't got a problem. <laughs> So I'm stopping and I'm leaving it in drive, as the instructor informed me. <laughs> For centenarian Geoffrey, his drive is also nearly up, but not before a last-ditch attempt to win over his assessor. So were you a policeman? Yep. Well, I admire the police. And I'm not saying that to get good marks. <laughs> 60. 50. Right. Initially, you were over the top of the speed limit. Um, if you can try and keep the car in the middle of the lane and not wander, you were wandering up to the white line a few times. M my advice to you would be to do this assessment every 12 months. Yeah. Just to keep on top of your driving ability. Okay, I agree with you. At the moment, I'm quite happy for a hundred year old man to keep driving. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm quite happy as well. <laughs> Come on. Disappointed. Tell us He's the news. Kidding. Hey, no. Tell us the news. He's awful. He's kidding. He's a, I'm not. I'm not kidding. You ask. You ask. Was that me. right? How would it go? He's passed. Oh. Yay! Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Formula One. <laughs> I'll shut Excellent. up now, shall I? Will you shut up? I'll shut Thank up you. now. Thank you. High five. Come on. <laughs>
I'm so happy. Really? I'm so happy. You've enjoyed it. It's been an adventure. Really. Good. I'm genuinely happy because yeah. I think you're a good driver. Thank you. You know, for your age. Everybody on the driving test is going to make a few little mistakes. But to be 100 and to be able to drive like that, it's, in, it's incredible.